yeah, so last time we were playing, um, we were doing the moon. We had a race to the moon. We had a race to the moon, uh, in which my... <laughs> which was a crashed. draw. It crashed right before I landed, I think is the best way of saying that. That's, and, that's really that's really clear as to what happened. And um, mine never did much. Yeah, so basically the problem I had was uh, the, the spaceship I built was about to land actually about to land and then my computer crashed so you know yay oh shit wrong button uh random sounds of fun i'm gonna connect and we're synchronizing and you can see all of the things loading it really is kind of amazing just how much stuff they pack into the multiplayer on this um people who don't play kerbal which i imagine is not a big portion of this um it looks really complicated and it kind of is but <laughs> it looks really complicated and jesus it is well like it it looks more complicated than it is though like like there are a few things you like getting into orbit the heuristic you gave me right at fifteen thousand, you tilt towards 45 at thirty thousand, you tilt towards the horizon yeah you know like you just keep that in mind now orbit's pretty easy and you know how to build a spaceship is actually like pretty straightforward once you know what you're doing. In any event... Um, once you're just not putting more and more stuff on it. Once yeah. you realize that it's a light touch kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Tyler, um, what are we doing today? I, I was I, While you were talking, I was just building a plane. Um, uh, pff, okay. Because I just got bored. Um, I don't know. <laughs> what, what do you want to do? Um... Hmm. I would be interested... I liked the friendly competition of last time. I, I did too. Now, there's a there's few options. Um, one can be whoever is the first to crash something into the sun. Oh, but that takes no time at all. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I could do that. Like, I can go build that right now. Okay. Uh, the other one is some sort of cooperative thing. Like, we, we have to dock with each other. All right. I feel like that could be very hard, and it could be very fun. All right, I'm on board with that 100%. All right. Um, I I'm gonna have a plane right. I'm okay. I'm gonna. I'm building a plane right now, like a space plane. This will be one part of our docking thing. Okay. Um, so it's so we're gonna, gonna have do to dock to a space plane. Um. But my I'm side can be a space sending plane. up multiple rockets in order to build like a space station. I'm also can be convinced of this. Okay. Um, although I guess that would be doing the talking, but um, yes. Um, okay, give me a second. All right, so I'm going to start off with... So obviously I'm going to need some really powerful engines. Um, well, you should, start off, you should start off by, like, what is stage one going to be? Because you're going to have to stage this thing. Like, it's going to have to be multiple things going up. Oh, like, what's the first bit of the... Yeah, so you want, like, a... Like, are you going to send up... Like, what are you going to send up first? And I'm going to I'm gonna test this plane really quick. Just because I've... I've been fooling around with space planes and trying to figure them out. Um, but after I test this really quick, which is going to crash in about maybe 30 seconds, <laughs> um, I, I can build a, um, like, a center point that everything else can attach to. Um... Because I figured how to build that, but then, like, what are we going to put up there? We need, you know, science stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking that our core, excuse me, <coughs> our core of the, pro of, the, of the whole space station should be a probe for two reasons. One, because it's like Hal from 2001 Space Odyssey, and that's funny. Um, two, so that way it can run independently before we put people up there. Okay. So we can just have a core we don't have to worry about too much, and then we can attach things to it. Um, yep, that plane what, crashed already. What core we're going to use? Um, well, I can build... I'll build the HAL section then. Okay. Really quick, because I'm thinking, uh, if you want... You should be able to watch what I'm doing. It should be a thing. Yeah, uh, viewer. Tyler Roy. Doing nothing. All right, um... Oh uh, yeah, you might not be able to watch me building stuff. Oh, is that the thing? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering now. Alright, um, well, in any event, 
So you're going to get started on that, then. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to include on this an empty space mobile processing lab. All right. Um, yeah, the question I'm having is... Maybe. No, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna have, I think this is gonna have fuel. This is gonna be a fuel holding section, basically. I'm thinking. Yeah. Man, this is gonna be a bitch to do. Sorry, I'm trying to game it out right now. So basically what I'm thinking is Wait, wait, okay, so question number one. Wh what is this gonna be in orbit around? A uh, Kerbin? Kerbin? Or do you wanna do around the moon? I vote moon, because it's a little bit harder, but a little bit less space debris. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Actually, no, it's gonna be easier once we get stuff up there. Yeah. I mean, now yeah. I'm thinking about it, like, once stuff's up there... Yeah, the burn between Kerbin and the Moon is actually, like, really, really easy. Mm -hmm. Um, Minmus, pain in the ass. Uh, once you figure Minmus out, there's, a, like, kind of a trick to it of you only do the approach on certain spots, so you don't have to do that damn adjust. Then it is filthy easy. I'm not even talking about the approach for landing. I'm talking about literally just like getting there. No, that's what I mean. Oh, okay. like it's on it's on an angle. You just you have to figure out like you just don't approach it from certain angles, basically. Oh, okay. Um, right. that's how you make that one so much easier. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. let's just break down what we're gonna need. We're gonna need science stuff. We're gonna need um, electrical stuff. You know, I'll do I'll do the power core. I'll send up the power core. Uh, so you're having, you're having like a ton of batteries? Yeah, just a ton and of batteries panels. connected to a shit ton of solar panels. Okay, make sure you get the Gigantors. I'm going to need a couple solar panels on this, just so it, it, it doesn't yeah, it die on us. Um, but yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna send up the reactor core of the actual... Okay. Um, now, how are we... So I need to... Hmm. Alright, I'm just going to use State Putnik uh, in order to get it up there, because it's really basic. Um... But I gotta be able to dock. Yeah, okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have State Putnik at the top. Um, then, um, uh, explosive bolt. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, then decoupler. Sorry, I'm like talking out loud. I'm thinking out loud. Yeah, so what I'm saying is. Why, I'm gonna wait, have, wait, wait. Why do you have the decoupler there? So that, because I've been below the probe head, I'm going to put um, docking material. But then how, but you're going to dock, but you're going to deject the fuel then. Like, if this is the power core. Oh, right. Like, the, the electricity needs to be a part of that. No, 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 what I'm saying is the power core will have two docking areas. My, my payload is the power core, right? Yeah. And the power core has to connect to what you have and then also have a connection for something else. Oh, and then the probe's gonna leave that. Yeah, the probe is just at the head of that, and the payload's right beneath it, so the, the so decoupler one size, blows so it wait, away. Wait, what? What? What are you saying? So I'm saying, so basically, um, one side will be... Wait a second, I'm just trying... No, that's wrong. Um, one side will be, uh... Brain fart. I'm having a brain fart. One side will be what? One side will be connected to the space station, one side will be exposed, so that way something else can connect to it. Yeah, yeah, but the- so it has to connect, the side away from the probe has to connect to the... Has to connect to the... What I'm building. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're building, I'm gonna to connect to what you're building. Yeah, but I'm saying is then, but you have to come in. Then you have to come in, probe first, and then flip it around. Yeah. Okay, and then the probe will eject off. Yeah. Yeah, I'll flip it around. Um. Yeah, yeah. What you're saying is just what I'm doing. Okay. So I need talking. Do I want a multi-point connector? Yeah, I guess I might as well. Holy shit, this thing is gonna be heavy. No, you don't want a multi-point connector. Why? Well, space station, isn't it? 
But I'm bringing the multi-point connector. Oh, you are? It's going to attach off of mine. Okay. Like I'm saying, I'm bringing up the core. Okay. We, we want to make these If, these if you're parts. doing... If, you're, if you have a multi-point connector, then maybe I should just bring the reactor. Yeah, I thought you were just bringing the reactor. Okay, uh, we'll other a shit reactor, around. a generator, and the sol gigantic solar arrays and the batteries. Yeah. All right. Okay, I can do that. Um, yeah. I thought that's. I thought that's all you were bringing. Yeah, I was just trying to make sure I had we had some room to expand. Yeah. No, I got that. Yeah. Um. And then yeah. So yeah. First is that, and then we'll put up the. Um, what the hell? Hmm. Uh, no, I'm just looking at stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hmm. <laughs> As I'm building our power core, it's a stack of uh, Z1K rechargeable battery banks. That's like, what are we at, six high now? Uh, make sure you incl include a generator on there, eh? Oh, there's actual generators? Yeah. Okay, I haven't gotten that far, I'm just looking through here. So, I'm also noticing Xenon. Do we need Xenon? Uh, we'll include Xenon in a later bit, because that'll be a later fuel section. All right. Okay. Gigantor solar array is here, and then I also have the thermoelectric generator. That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. All right. Um, I and the reason I'm stacking the battery bank so high is that way we just have like a large capacitor with I think it's capacitor is the word I'm looking for. Just a large thing to fill up with all this energy coming in. Yeah, I get your sound.